Hi, welcome back to Pierce Your Own Dick. Uh, my name is Justin, and... <laughs> hey, I'm Ashley. Uh, welcome to Outside the Comfort Zone. If you guys haven't heard last week's podcast, you really need to go and do that, because we talked about the first half of uh, WikiHow's Pierce Your Own Dick Hole with some dick holes. With some dick holes. With so, some dick holes. Um, what we're doing is just part two. We're going to finish um, How to Pierce Your Own Dick, and then... We are going to talk about some other stuff. Yeah, we're going to read some iTunes reviews. If you guys haven't reviewed Outside the Comfort Zone on iTunes, please go give it five stars and write something nice about it. Or give it four stars, because that's good enough. That's like 80%. I mean, f- five stars is great, though. Like, don't don't downplay it, because we are, we are trying. You know? uh, well, even three stars is 60%. I mean, like, don't do this to me, Justin. <laughs> like, three stars is good enough. So if you want to do three stars, you can do that. Do, like, five. Or if you do five, then I would be okay with that too. Yeah, I mean, if you want to, it's honestly it's it's up to your opinion. We're not trying to we're not trying to sway you. Mm-hmm. We're just gonna say we will read the five star ones out. Yeah, and we will ignore anything under that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> if you do less than five stars, you're no longer our friend. Exactly. But feel free but to like, do whatever, whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, for sure. Yeah, you do you. Boo. Barbie girl. <laughs> um. Okay. Get out your needle. All right. Here we go. We're jumping back in, so hopefully you just, just, just watched the last one. Just, just, just. just. Um, if not, go watch the last thirty seconds yeah. because that won't help you at all. <laughs> um, all right. So we just finished um, um, your research and you're preparing to pierce your own dick. Now we're gonna pierce this. Yeah. Dick. So this is part three or four. This is actually how to pierce it. Yeah. Justin's actually following these steps right now. Yeah. I have the needle in my hand. Okay. Get out your needle. I have it already. Once you've got your clamp latched on, what? So you're supposed to, okay, you latch your clap, <laughs> you, you latch your clap to your, your dick. Uh, okay, so you, you clap. <laughs> <laughs> clap your dick <laughs> to prepare for the pain of the needle. <laughs> he the, he's just staring at me. Okay, so buddy is still here and he's just staring at me. He just like, look at him, um, he's bearing his stomach. He's like, Justin, if you pet me, we'll be no, friends. Last, the last time, the last time I tried to give him a belly rub and he bit my ear off. Yeah, well, your ears are safe distance. He's like so fucking Mike it. Tyson. And, <laughs> uh, he's, like, yeah, he's like, your ear smells good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He didn't like that Um. <laughs> okay, lay back down. Yes, it's okay, but You're more like OJ. Have you ever seen a lip sync battle? Yes. Did you just watch the Channing Tatum and his wife one? No. Oh. I saw... Emma Watson. Emma Watson's on it. Well, it's not the yeah, show. It was I like the Jimmy Kimmel one. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Not the show, the Have show. you seen the show? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, hmm. I watched the first two episodes. The first, it, it, it all depends on who's on it. Yeah. But I mean, the first episode was Jimmy Fallon and uh, Dwayne Johnson. Oh, that sounds so good. So it, it was pretty good. The second one was John Legend and uh, Common. Mm, don't I don't care. I don't even know who Common no, is. No, I don't know who. Um, okay. but John Legend was rapping. So that was funny. Okay. Um, but no, there's like a lot of like like Justin Bieber's on it and like a whole bunch of people are on it. I want Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez to be on it together. I think that'd be funny. And then they just like fuck right in the middle yeah. of the stage. <laughs> They're like, I miss you. <laughs> Justin Bieber just sings his own songs, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> and then Selena Gomez is like, I just wanna look good for you. Good for you. Uh uh-uh. uh. And he's like, Sorry, it's too late to say hello. And then Adele joins him. Yeah. It's like this whole like rap battle between it Justin is. Bieber and Adele. That's They're both just is. singing hello. <laughs> Um, Look at Buddy's eating my hands. So you, yeah, he's probably going to eat your ear next. Um, So you bought a sterile, he licks his ass at that, now he's (laughs) licking your hand. And then I'll rub all of his saliva on your face. On your ass, yeah. On your face. It's going straight ass to ass, you (laughs) and your dog. Oh my god, that's so gross, don't let him do that. Stop. Stop. No. No. (laughs) Stop, it's making me uncomfortable. We're talking about dick piercings and you're just letting your dog lick whatever you want. He's licking my hand. Okay, you're, well, your hand. I'm about to pierce my dick, so I need everything to be <laughs> sterile in here. I have the bleach going. I need I need you to be respectful. Did you already bleach your dick? No, not yet. I haven't gotten to that. It. Oh, wait, no, that was in preparation. Clean your dick. No, I already. You clean your dick? No, it is. It's, too, it's super clean. Okay. Um, okay, you bought a sterile piercing needle that matches the size of your jewelry, right? If not, stop now. Go get the right size. Come back. This is not the place to be lazy. Okay, apply ointment. Where where did you get ointment from? What your ointment? dick. No, you have to apply it onto your dick. Oh, okay. A, a, ointment wasn't in the preparation. It, that's what I'm saying. Where, where are you supposed to get ointment from? I don't know. Now I have to run out with a clamp on my dick to go get <laughs> ointment because I'm trying to follow this in order. 
<laughs> Do you need like polysporin? I have polysporin. Uh, yeah, that'll probably work. Okay, great. Maybe some lube. Okay, I've got lube too. Um, once you've got your needle out, rub on a little bit of A535. <laughs> this will make the next step easier. <laughs> Line up the needle. Okay, now double check to make sure that both marks are still lined up and clamp. Uh. Um, if they are, then hold the clamp in one hand and you can hold the sides of the needle between your thumbs. Hold and, it steady. And get ready. Okay, pierce the skin. Ah! Oh, Take a couple of deep, deep breaths. Check to make sure you're lined up correctly and quickly push the needle through the skin. So there's no like uh, like jelly that numbs your dick or anything. Like you just full on. That's what your dick looks like ah, now. <laughs> I don't want to see those anymore. Um, it doesn't look like that yet. Okay, okay. Hold okay. On. We'll see. It's so red. Ah. Uh, so it looks like he skinned his dick. Ah. Uh, <laughs> probably did by accident. Okay. <laughs> okay, quickly push the. Ah. Uh, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> quickly push the needle through the skin till you see it poking through the other side. At least a centimeter or two. Make so, sure you don't push the entire needle on the other side. Make sure it looks like this right there. Because you need the. <laughs> You need the needle to guide the jewelry in. Ugh. Pushing the needle through your skin will hurt. <laughs> really? Yeah, no shit. <laughs> Very beefy dudes cry like babies during this type of period. No shit, you're putting a piece of metal through your dick. If it hurts, just push harder. <laughs> it will stop hurting very quickly once you go through the other side. Oh my god. I, I think no, it will it won't. still probably hurt. Yeah, it'll probably still fucking hurt. Probably still not a good experience. Okay, insert the piercing. Great. Now that you've got the needle through, put the jewelry in. Okay, what are you doing, buddy? Secure your jewelry. If you did everything correctly, you should see the threaded end of your jewelry poking out the exit hole of your new piercing. Now just screw that ball on and you're good. <laughs> Done! Take the time to clean the area with another alcohol wipe. Yeah, wipe up all the blood off the ground <laughs> after you put a hole through your dick. Um, dispose of your needle correctly. If you bring it to a piercing shop or a hospital, they will, <laughs> you just walk into a hospital. So uh, they go to the receptionist. So this needle was just punctured through my dick. I need you to get rid of it. It's all bloody and stuff. You're just holding your dick like a rag to your dick. Cause... I was supposed to uh, get rid of this properly and they suggested yeah. a hospital. Um, be considerate. This is not considered biological waste. It's not fair to put... Oh, this is considered biological waste. Of course it is. It's, it's not dick. fair to put your garbage collector at risk. For pieces of your dick. Just, um, sorry, yes, yeah, Stan. Yeah, I know you're coming to pick up my garbage, but there's a dick needle in there. It's covered in dick blood and dick chunks. Oh, and you, yeah, there's a little bit of your dick in there. That's horrible. This, yeah, there's a chunk of your dick in the needle. That's terrifying. What are you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, Hi. <laughs> But he's freaking out. It sounds like he's tap dancing. <laughs> I knew you're, I knew you were gonna come home straight away once you found out those were ex cons. Ex cons delivering to the, the couch. You got the podcast. Justin's like, haha, I'm coming home right now. Haha, what's the couch you <laughs> and, then, and then you did. <laughs> Hello, compliment the couch. Come on. <laughs> it's not as comfortable as it looks. But it's gonna get there. I like it too. It's bigger than I thought, <laughs> but that's okay. Was it free? Yeah. My couch is free too. No, oh, well, that's good. Mine was super free. This is a lot comfier than my Why couch. Why do you have that in the window though? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. There's something in the window I saw when I pulled in. Oh, I don't know. Why? Is it a puppy? Yeah, it's a puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're back, guys. <laughs> Sorry, there was a puppy in the window. There. We were wondering if it was for it. sale. It was. The one with the waggly tail? Yeah, no, I bought it and then threw it out the window. It, it was Buddy. <laughs> um, Fuck you. Yeah, the TV's on to make sure that she didn't get molested. Yeah. Well. But what if they come back? Yeah. <laughs> God, don't you want me to be protected? Anyways. I'm getting a call. Oh my God. That's from, okay. So the school I went to mm -hmm. calls me two or three times a day about a survey because they want to know how my time there was. Oh my god. Literally every time they call, I say I'm driving. I've done it about four or five times now. <laughs> every time I answer, it's the same girl. And I'm like, hey, sorry, this is a bad time I'm driving. She's like, oh, okay, we seem to be unlucky. I'll call you again soon. I'm like, okay. 
and then I either never answer because I recognize the number, or she changes her number and calls me. She called me from Saskatchewan number. She really wants to know how your time was. Yeah, I should just tell her, it sucked. I never went to Nate. I don't know who you are. <laughs> Please tell her that. Please call her back and be like, I need to know why you keep calling me. Yeah, I never went to Nate. Yeah. I also don't know who this Justin person is. Exactly. He sounds amazing. Yeah, but... Can I have not... his number? Because obviously this isn't it. <laughs> Idiot. You should call her right now and do that. Or you could finish the pureness. Pureness? Okay. Yeah, so now, now you have jewelry in your penis. Um, this is part four of four. Okay. Here it comes. This is called the aftercare. Good. You have to care about your yeah. penis afterwards, too. Congratulations. Thanks. Y- you're pierced. Yes, I am. Now you just need to take care of it properly. Good. You should soak it in a solution of warm water and bleach <laughs> for a couple weeks. <laughs> <laughs> when taking a shower, it's a good idea to keep your penis out of the, sh- out of the water. Yeah, just keep it out of the shower. <laughs> yeah. Um, be careful around water. Showers are fine. But avoid baths or swimming during the healing process, since it's easy to have your uh, dick leak everywhere for other people. So don't go to, like, public swimming pools. No, absolutely not. You'll dick leakage. Unacceptable. Um, slow down on the sex, tiger. <laughs> yeah, tiger. With, whoa, with genital piercings, you should not have sex for at least four weeks or so. You, four weeks. That seems like that's, a long time. That's a number right there. That, that is, is not worth it. Specific. Um, you have an open wound on your penis, so keep that in mind. You are much more success- susceptible of course. To, to STDs and unprotected sex. Okay, so not only did you pierce your penis, yeah. you can't have sex for four weeks, and yeah. if you do, you're going to get AIDS. Yeah. Also, you can't go swimming, and you can't wash your dick. These are all total reasons to go and get a genital piercing yeah um also remember you have metal down there <laughs> metal detectors through so, the airport. <laughs> so it might not be a good idea to use sheer or extra sensitive condoms as they may break perfect you're gonna so, have a baby the, the, the yeah so your life is going straight downhill ever since you did this yeah you Why get screened you at every airport mm-hmm. they're like um excuse me sir we need to do a what strip are you search carrying in your pants it's like oh don't worry about that that's just for my friend um they're like, you have a friend in your pants? No, this is my friend. Um, I put a hole through my penis <laughs> and put a piece of metal in it. They're like, okay, you can't leave the country. Ever again. You are mentally unstable. <laughs> Why would you do that? Okay, um, ask if you have any questions. Mm-hmm. Who do you ask? Ask WikiHow. They'll be pleased to answer it for you. Enjoy your new piercing. If you have questions, ask your local piercer. It wasn't that you? You were the local piercer. <laughs> Extremely <laughs> local. Ask yourself if you have any questions. Yeah. Uh, they're more happy to give you advice. They want everyone to be safe. Um, and then there's some tips. There's I, some helpful I tips. I don't think that that's true. I think they only want you to be safe if you're paying for their services. That's true. Why would they care if you yeah. pierced your own dick? You're like, oh, it's super infected. I need you to fix this. Well, you should have came here then. Yeah. Um, if you're ever unsure about anything you are doing, stop. <laughs> Halfway through, you're like, I, <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I should do this. I, this was a bad idea. Yeah. Um... So yeah, if you're ever unsure, like I'm, I'm pretty sure I know how to do it now. Yeah. But if you're ever unsure, don't. Like, or just look at the instructions again. Yeah. Maybe review it one more time before you do it. Yeah. Maybe have them open while you're doing it. Yeah. So that you can, yeah. Um, pierce yourself, pierce, pier, uh, uh, piercing <laughs> yourself can be dangerous. You do this at your own risk. You are responsible for any injuries, infections, and deaths or other deaths. <laughs> or other, okay. they just kind of snuck that in there at the bottom. <laughs> deaths. Like, if maybe. you die. Or otherwise unhappy events that may take place. Um, and so that's pretty much know. it. Yeah. You know, that, I think that was really helpful. I feel like I've learned something today. Just one more time. Look at that. Uh, yeah. No, I don't <laughs> want to do that anymore. <laughs> okay, great. Um, there's also a wiki on how to use condoms. But you know what? I'm we're not going to go through that right now. I'm going to send this. I'm going to take a screenshot and send this to Taylor. Yeah. No, I hope you should. Um, okay. So that's how to pierce <laughs> your penis. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Just say I'm thinking about having this done. <laughs> thinking about getting this done. What do you think? Um, okay, so what, what were we going to... Oh yeah, bring up iTunes and let, let's talk about how people like us. Okay. So I'm going to read some reviews here, guys. And again, please go and give us five to ten stars. Also, I was going to talk about the Golden Globes. Have you seen any new movies lately? No. But I want to see Brooklyn. Have you seen Star Wars? 
So good. Have you seen The Revenant? No. So good. Have you seen... I mean, I shouldn't have done the same emphasis. Never mind. I'm going to go back. Have you seen Star Wars? No. So good. Okay. Have you seen The Revenant? No. It was good. Okay. Hateful Eight. I haven't seen it yet. I really want to see it, though. What about The Big Short? No. I want to see that, too. Have you seen Spotlight? No. Have you seen Trumbo? (laughs) No. Have you seen Creed? No. Have you seen Brooklyn? No. But I want to see Brooklyn. (laughs) That's that's the That's the only movie you've heard of. Okay. (laughs) All right. Do you want to read the reviews? Um, yeah, sure. All right, there's, there's, well, I wanted to talk about the Golden Globes. Okay, yeah, so that was last week. (laughs) Yeah, so, uh, best picture, The Revenant. Didn't think that was going to happen. You know, I just think Leo, my, my good old pal Leo. Yeah. He deserves it. Uh, I don't want him to get an Oscar for it. Why? Because the movie was good. It was shot in Alberta, which helps. Yes. It was very, um. Uh, but but the movie, if you go and watch it, it's about three hours long. Jesus. And it's pretty much Leonardo DiCaprio with a beard and long hair getting the shit beat out of him for three hours and grunting a lot. Huh. Like, you know in Wolf of Wall Street when he takes those drugs and he's, like, crawling around on the ground and there's, like, shit coming out of his mouth? Yeah. And it's like that for three hours. Okay. In snow. No, I don't want to watch it. With, I was with gonna, Tom Hardy. But, oh, but Tom Hardy is so hot. Yeah, not in that movie. Oh. He has a huge beard. And, like, super long hair. I feel like he'd still be hot. Uh, I don't know. I didn't even know it was Tom Hardy while I was watching it. Oh. Until I looked on IMDb after, and I was like, what? Tom Hardy was in that? And then I went and looked at it, and I was like, yeah, that's him. His lips, though. Well, not sure you can see them. Oh. Also, he's a douche in it. Oh. Also, there's a scene where Leonardo DiCaprio gets attacked by a bear. Uh, yeah. You should at least look that up and watch that scene. It's, like, ten minutes long. Oh. And it's uh, really gruesome. Okay. Like, really fucking disturbing. Okay. Like... Yeah. At the Golden Globes, um, last night, Channing Tatum and Jonah Hill came up, and Jonah Hill was the bear from The Revenant, <laughs> and it was hilarious, really? and you should see that. Uh, really I, I'm going to go watch that then, yeah, because that scene was just like, it was devastating. Like, I can never look at a bear the same way again. Like, this bear was like... You used to look at bears with, like, love in your eyes, Yeah. now you're just like, I can't do this. No, I can't do it anymore. Okay. And then, like, so they won Best Picture, and then he won Best Actor in a Drama. Okay. Um, and then, like, a bunch of other shit happened that nobody cares about. Inside Out won Best Animated. See, I liked that movie. I thought it was good. It was literally the only animated one that anyone cared about. Yeah, the other ones were dumb. What was it? The Best Dinosaur or The Good Dinosaur? The, have you never heard of The Good Dinosaur? No. No. Watch the trailer. It actually looks so good. <laughs> okay. Um, fuck you. But the other ones, I don't, I have no idea. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> Listen. <Fuck> you. <laughs> <laughs> Shut your face. No, the, the, the Peanuts movie was up there, but it actually looked terrible. That looks horrible. It didn't even look good. And I really like Charlie Brown, so they really messed that one up. Um, hey, we got a three-star rating. Hey, what? And, and then 11 five-star ratings. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the Golden Globes, that happened. And um, what else happened? Oh, best comedy. Okay. The Martian. <laughs> what? With Matt Damon. That was hilarious how he got trapped on Mars. Have you seen it? It almost died, yeah. It actually is pretty funny. It's... Like, there's lots of funny parts. There's, there's lots like, of funny parts. parts, but I wouldn't define it no, as it's not a com- comedy. I feel like they didn't have really... They wanted to give The Martian something, and they were giving The Revenant Best Picture, so then they're like, let's give it Best Comedy. And then he won Best Actor in a Comedy. Mm-hmm. Which just made yeah. lots of sense. Which, like, The Martian isn't a comedy. So Ricky Gervais I, brought him out and was like, oh, he's the only one that Ben Affleck hasn't cheated on or screwed over. It's... What the fuck is his name from The Martian? Matt Damon. <laughs> Matt Damon. Matt Damon. It's Matt Damon. Um, yeah, and then, um, what's his face? Who sings, um, R- Randy? Who sings, uh, You Got a Friend in Me? You got a friend in me. I have no idea. Ran- Randy Newman. Of course. Randy Newman. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he sounds. He's hilarious. Good guy. Um, Good guy. Good guy, Randy yeah, Newman. Yeah, he wasn't there. Oh, um, there was some other stuff that happened that nobody really cares about. No, there was a Mel Gibson thing that happened. This is all like so over by this time. I'm sure. There's, and then like, Jennifer Lawrence won shows. something for Joy. I haven't seen Joy. But Me I neither. Would, I, would, I, 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 would I, see it. I mean, I know uh, you don't like Jennifer Lawrence. You don't like Jennifer Lawrence. I know you don't like Jennifer. Lawrence. No, I do. You do. I don't like her in Hunger Games. Have you seen the last Hunger Games? No, I haven't. Me either. 
But the, the 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 one before that was trash. I know you thought that. Like 100% trash. I think. It's already on Netflix. That's how trash it is. I think. And the first two aren't. We should do a movie marathon, you, me, and Jamie, and none of my significant others because I'm lonely. Okay. We should have a movie night here when my TV gets put up there, do a You Now show, and watch all of the Hunger Games while we get absolutely plastered. I would rather not. I would rather. That hurts me. Watch all of the Fast and Furiouses while we get plastered. Okay. I'm down for that. Okay. Okay. Let's do it. All right. I'm ready. All right. It's All right. Be Start playing thing. it. All right. Here we go. Let's go. And here we go. Here we go. It's but been guys... a long. <laughs> have you seen all of them? You probably oh. even have. You probably haven't seen any of them. I've, I've seen three. Yeah. I've seen the fifth you, one. So you've seen Tokyo I've seen the Drift. The first one. Have you, you've seen the first one and the fifth one. And the fifth one. And I. How can you appreciate between. any of those? I mean, if you good haven't standalone movies. Well. But I mean, I'm sure I would appreciate them more. Oh my god! And then, and then we can watch the seventh one, and you can cry. Okay, this you will be like a two day thing. For, no, this is one day. Okay, guys, if you want to have this happen, join our movie marathon club. Follow us on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, follow us on OT Comfort Zone. Yeah. And we're gonna do. We're gonna watch all of the Fast and Furious. It'll happen, and we'll do a you know the entire time. The entire time, we'll do a 14 time. hour you know. Oh my god! Because there's seven movies. Oh my god! And they're all like you know two hours long. So, any sleep at all? Or, like, no? Well, like, after... Yeah, so we'll start at, like, 6 a.m. Oh, God. Or, like, 8 a.m. Okay. Or, like, 10. Okay. We'll start at, like, we'll a, start at noon. We'll start at, like, noon, yeah. Yeah, and then we'll just watch till, like, 4. Okay. That's better. I no, like, that. 2. But we'll have to get, like, pizza. Definitely pizza. And we'll pizza. have to get Chinese food. Yeah, so we're gonna need a budget for this. We're gonna need a... Guys, go so to So, Patreon, Patreon, and then... <laughs> Uh, and then we'll you know the entire thing. We'll yeah. do a 14 hour you know. Seriously, I would be super down for this. Yeah, I'd do that. You guys will spend one month of our Patreon savings on this. On this alone. So go be a Patreon if you want to see this. Yeah. It's only if we make a certain amount by... February. February. Of February if we have what? We'll like... do it for Valentine's Day. Yeah! No, I'm kidding. <laughs> That's the date that Jamie goes off. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Yeah. Um, hey, we get to hang out with Ashley for 14 hours. <laughs> yeah, I'd rather shoot myself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, so Ashley's buying the booze and the pizza and stuff like that. With the patron money. So um, this is actually, yeah, it's, it's a budget. We need a budget for this. Yeah. And then we'll have a we'll have a You Now show going the whole time. Yeah, 14-hour You Now show, guys. Yeah. So, we, uh, this is a good plan. I like this so far. Patreon. <laughs> yeah. All right. So in case you were wondering, like, what amazing things we do here, here's some reviews. Here's some reviews, what uh, people have said about us. Okay, so this is uh, Nikki Shave. She is shaved clean. <laughs> Ashley and Justin provide roughly an hour of... I've already read this. Oh, all right. Um, um, November 4th, November 6th, November 10th. Hey, they haven't read them. My mom is making ice right now. Can you guys hear that? Do you see what this bullshit is? Yeah, okay. I've always loved watching Ashley and Justin on their YouTube channel, Outside the Comfort Zone, where they talk about things they probably shouldn't. <laughs> Ashley and Justin continue to provide hilarious content with their cover is going on on the content where they cover what is going on in their personal lives as well as relevant controversial topics. So subscribe to their podcast and you won't regret it. Thank you. Ashley and Je- Lolly F G F B F G. <laughs> yes. Ashley and Justin are the funniest people. They always get a laugh when I watch them. Their podcast rocks and don't know what we'd do without it. Seriously amazing. Thank you, Lolly, Big Friendly Giant. Uh, and then there's um, Hannah a- Alice. I've been watching them since the beginning on YouTube. They are my favorite people ever. So funny. Aww. Well, that's so nice. And then there's Ali G. Justin is so hot. I can't believe that I can just listen to his voice whenever I want on iTunes. You guys should all subscribe. And then give them money so that they can watch Figure 7. <laughs> How does she know that already? That's crazy. That's so weird, Allie G. Oh, she's a future teller. Hannah Gray and um, Shanda. Do you remember the Big Friendly Giant? Yeah, they're, they're making, making a live movie. action. I know, I'm so excited. There's so many good movies coming out this year. I am really upset that Iron Man isn't going to have another movie, probably. Why? Because Robert Downey Jr.'s contract expired. And no, I mean, like, why are you upset? Because it's great, and I love Robert Downey Jr. in that role. He, oh, he's good, but I mean, like, after the third one, it was kind of like, huh, I really, really like the third one. I don't know. I mean, I know he's going to be in The Winter Soldier, but I just Yeah, he's want... getting the shit beat out of him in that one. I know. Like, he's going to get the shit beat out of him. But you know what? Fuck him. What? Fuck Captain America. I like... 
Oh yeah, no, like Captain her. America definitely sucks. So he's such a piece of shit. He's like so high and mighty about like, oh, I'm a good person. Oh. There's definitely some some good movies coming out this year. Okay, let's talk about them. So also, I want to talk about um, by this time, Star Wars, the new Star Wars, mm-hmm. has become the highest grossing film in North America Ooh, ever. That's crazy. And it's the third worldwide. So it's right behind Titanic now. Jesus. And it's gonna pass Titanic, and it might hit Avatar. Jesus. And it's, it's not even been out for a month yet. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> that's nuts. These guys are nuts. I mean, they did a really good job. I know what you, t- what were you talking about on Twitter with like money and Oh yeah, like the, the people that, yeah. So there's the two main characters in it mm-hmm. are, they're two new characters that they brought in. Um, one, the guy name is John something else. And then the other girl, she's Daisy Ridley. Mm-hmm. She's pretty. She is so Oh, pretty. Okay, and then, so they both, to star in Star Wars, got $450,000 each. Nice. Which is pretty sweet. Pretty like sweet. But also... Not a whole bunch. In no. the movie business. Because Harrison Ford came in. He had like... I'm not going to do any spoilers. Okay. Because people would actually like... Murder you. Murder me. Yeah. Anyways, Harrison Ford comes back as Han Solo. Yeah. He got paid $25 million to come back. Oh my god. And he also gets like 0.2% of all the revenue, Jesus. which is going to be like another $9 million. That's so he crazy. got like $34 million. Oh my god. And then um, Carrie Fisher, oh, yeah. who is Leia, yeah. she came back. She got 1.5 <laughs> to come back. Um, and then I don't know how much um, Mark Hamill got. He's Luke. But he got some money to come back. And he was in the movie for about, I think it was like 13 seconds. Oh. Holy at the shit. very end literally the last shot and he uh, i don't know how much he got paid for it but like probably more than 450 probably grand. yeah so like that's fucked anyways but yeah that was insane and then jj abrams got paid five million up front to direct it Fuck. and he gets two percent of the revenue oh my god which is god. gonna be like 50 million dollars or like 60 million dollars can you just like imagine what you would do with 50 million dollars I would direct a Star Wars movie. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I would do. That's, that's literally God. what I want to do. Um, yeah, so that was pretty insane. That's crazy. Anyways, coming out this year, mm. Deadpool. Meh. Have you seen the trailers oh, for it? Oh, Deadpool. Yeah. yeah Ryan Reynolds. That I was, was like, so good. I was like, what do you mean, man? I was like, I'm about to hit you. I was like, I, I don't like hitting women, but I have to. But, <laughs> but I will. Um, yeah, Deadpool looks so good. That looks so good. Um, Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Suicide Squad. I honestly can't get excited for that one. I just don't care. Really? Okay. Batman versus Superman. I will see that. Um, a new X Men movie. Nah. Live action Ghostbusters. Me. But who's in it? Chris Hemsworth, Kristen Wiig, and Melissa McCarthy. <laughs> for I'll Ghostbusters. See it, but I don't think I'll be like overly excited about it. Yeah, I agree with you. Um, and then the new Captain America movie. Yeah. Me. Yeah. Uh, live action Tarzan. But. Meh. Tarzan having a claim to a life, having uh, acclimated, acclimated, acclimated <laughs> to a life in London. What? Is called back to his former home in the jungle to investigate the activities of a mining encampment. That sounds so frustrating. Yeah. Uh, Samuel Jackson's in it, so that's good. Um, Doctor Strange. I don't know what that. Have you seen Zoot? Have you seen the trailers for Zootopia? No, is that like Zoolander really... 2? No, it's there is a Zoolander 2 coming out in 2016 <laughs> also. Um, but no, Zootopia is like the new Pixar movie. No. And it actually looks really funny. Uh, new Independence Day. Independence Day Resurgence. You probably haven't even seen Independence no. Day, have you? That's a classic. You have to watch it. I haven't seen it. Zoolander 2 uh, is coming out. Not excited about it. I don't care. Fifty Shades of Black. I'm excited about that. That's going to be so funny. Yeah. Um, a new Star Trek movie. Meh. Dirty Grandpa. Yes. That's the one with Zac Efron, Zac Efron and, uh, and uh, Robert Downey, uh, Robert De Niro. Robert Downey Jr. <laughs> Robert Downey De Niro. Um, Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. Nah. It's Pride and Prejudice and Zombies. That's it looks stupid. So stupid. You know the movie Now You See Me? Yeah. The magic one? Yeah. Now You See Me too. Oh. Yeah, I like that movie. It was a good movie. That wasn't bad. Um, the final movie for, oh no, uh, Divergent or Allegiant is coming out. The third I movie. I still haven't seen Insurgent. Oh really? It's actually pretty good. I really liked it. Hmm. Uh, new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie. Meh. With, that, why? With, why? With, with Maggie but Fox. Why? <laughs> with the Maggie Maggie Fox. Why is there another one? Uh, the Jungle Book. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, Scarlett Johansson's in it. I really like her. Um, she's. I think everyone likes her. She's definitely 
Just um, a pretty, pretty woman. Hail Caesar, a Hollywood fixer in the 1950s, works to keep the studio stars in line. And it's with Channing Tatum and Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, I don't know. And then there's Alice Through the Looking Glass. No. Which is, you know, like Alice in Wonderland, like with Johnny Depp and yeah. Anne Hathaway, and it's another one of those. Yeah, I, don't I think it's a prequel. That. But it's not Tim Burton. Oh. So, like, why even watch weird. it? I know, right? Like, like Johnny Tim, Depp that's and... That's his perfect movie, yeah. Alice in Wonderland. He might be, um... He might be producing it, but he's not directing it. No, I wouldn't see that. Yeah. Um... My Big Fat Greek Wedding 2? Nah, I haven't seen the first A one. new Ice Age movie. Because you need another one. Yeah, there's only 14 coming out, so... Gotta um, have that 15th. Finding Dory. I'm excited so for that. So excited. But I, I was excited for Monsters University, and I still haven't seen it. Monsters University is really good. I need, I'm need. i going to watch that It's tonight. as good as the first one. Watch it watch tonight. Watch it tonight. Like, Finding Dory is going to be great, because Finding Nemo is probably one of the greatest movies of all time. Next podcast, I will talk about Monsters University and what I've thought about it. We're bringing Movie Corner back, guys. Okay, we'll do Movie Corner. Yeah. What am I going to watch? Um... Fuck, I forget. Watch The Bachelor. Uh, no. <laughs> um, Can we have a Bachelor corner? Oh my god. No. Oh. Um, The Secret Life of Pets. Have you seen that trailer? No. That's really good too. I pretty much just watch trailers. That's yeah, what I, I do. Like that's I watch trailers for every movie that's gonna come out. Um, Storks. This is about it, it's a it's a thing it's a Disney movie or something, but it's um. How babies are made. No, it's Storks, storks. deliver babies, or they used to. Now they deliver packages. For the global internet giant cornerstore.com. What? And Andy Samberg. It's an animated one. Oh. <laughs> Andy Samberg is voicing it. Keegan Michael Key and uh, Kelsey Grammer. Okay. Are all voicing okay. it. I think it's actually going to be pretty funny. You know Olympus Has Fallen? The White House one with Gerard Butler? Yeah. London Has Fallen. <gasps> Same I, uh, cast. George Butler, Morgan Freeman. Oh my god. I'm so excited. I really like that movie. I it like was really movies good. like that. Like, yeah. There was one with Channing Tatum. The exact same yeah, thing, exactly. but with Channing Tatum. Yeah, that one was um, White House Down. <laughs> I love them. Yeah, they're, Those movies are amazing. They're really good. I also um, got into like all of the um, James Bond movies with Daniel Craig. So good. Right. You, you probably were like, oh, James Bond is stupid, but then you watch they're them and you're like, they're so, so good. good. Have you seen Spectre? No. I haven't either, but you should watch them. Okay. Maybe I'll watch that tonight. <laughs> Oh, maybe I should watch that tonight. Yeah. Let's, okay, watch, let's both watch Spectre. And I'll watch Monsters University. Okay. I won't watch it tonight, though. That was a lie because The Bachelor's on tonight and The Bachelor's more important. Okay. Um, I'm actually, I'm going to the Ice Castles tonight. Tell me how it is. Okay. They look great. Yeah, they, no, they do look great. Um, okay, then there's Snowden. Excuse me. I you know think... Edward Snowden? Yes. The guy who like leaked it. There's a movie about his life. I think that's going to be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Shailene Woodley's in it. Nicolas Cage is in it. I like Shailene Woodley, but, but... I also don't. <laughs> You yeah, know? I mean, with her short hair, I don't like her. With long hair, I do. She's a good actress, but like her as a person, like bugs me. Yeah, I can I can see that. So yeah. then there's the BFG. Oh, so fucking excited about Bill that. Bill Hader's in it. Oh, that's gonna be good. Rebecca Hall. Okay. Yep. So that'll be good. Ride along too. Oh, I'm gonna watch that. The trailer looks really funny. Have mm, you seen the trailer? No. It's really funny. You have to you just start watching trailers. I, that's... I'm subscribed to trailer things, but what you never wait, watch them? What's the Kevin Hart movie? Isn't that Ride Along too? Yeah, Ice Cube and Kevin Hart. Doesn't that come out like next week? Yeah, 2016. I'm just reading 2016. What's oh. coming up? Um, Neighbors two. You know that one that wasn't good. Yeah. Yeah, Chloe Grace Moretz. Zac Efron. But you know what? Actually, it wasn't bad. Zac Efron was hot in there. He's hot in everything, but like that's oh, true. And then. A new Born sequel. They don't know the name of it yet, though. But Matt Damon. Is he in it? Born I did. Whoa. Yeah. Because didn't Matt Damon stop being in them for a while? No. The, oh. It was always Matt Damon. Um, mm, I thought he was done with those. The Angry Birds movie. That seems unnecessary. The Conjuring 2. Well, that honestly, I didn't find The Conjuring all that scary. John Wick 2. Do you know John Wick was the biggest fail in, in, in history of... So they had to make a second one? Yeah. Um, Bridget Jones' baby. <gasps> Unnecessary. Unnecessary. That just should not should happen. Um, and then there's Jack Reacher. A new Jack Reacher. Don't know what that is. Yoga Hosers. That's the the second the second movie in the uh, Tusk trilogy. No. Yeah, and it's about Canadian girl oh yoga my hosers. God. It's two Canadian girls that do yoga, and they're hosers because they're Canadian, eh? Can yeah. we do a What Canadian Say and video? Johnny Depp and Haley Joe Osment are still in it. Oh my god. Um, two teenage yoga enthusiasts team up with legendary Manhunter to battle with ancient evil presence that is threatening their major party plans. 
<laughs> I can't wait to see that. Oh, you know, I should watch Tusk, though. Uh, you should. Watch that tonight. You'll have, like, Fuck you'll no. shit in your pants. I don't want to Bad do that. Santa 2. Um, Adi Shankar's Gods of the Secrets. I don't know what that is. Uh, like, there's a bunch of other ones. There's this Japanese movie. Blue Mountain out. State. Oh, yeah. They actually made that? a movie. Yeah, I watched the TV. They did a Kickstarter to fund the movie. Oh. And then they apparently they made enough money because they're... That's a smart way to do it. Yeah. Because they, were, they had so many fans, but then, like, Netflix canceled the series, or whoever was doing it canceled mm-hmm. the series. And everyone was like, what the fuck? And they're like, well, we'll do a movie if you give us money. And then they did. They're so. like, okay. There's this Japanese movie coming out, or it might be out already, but there were ads on Facebook, and there's a bunch of, like, giants. Just, like, fucking huge giants that come in and terrorize this town. And they're, they're CGI'd, and they are fucking terrifying looking. Okay. <laughs> like, terrifying. Like, just big Japanese, but not Japanese, giant people. And it's Insane. Is it BFG? Yes. It's like Japanese BFG? It's BFG. One of them just like steals dreams. Well, my computer is almost um, dying, is it? No, we're at 33%. Never mind. Oh, we're all good. We're fine. So, did you want to end off on some questions and then we're all going to film some videos for the Friday uploads? Uh, y- yeah, we could, uh, we could do that. Well, what we could do right now is end the podcast. Okay. And then and then film those videos. Okay, so guys, last week we put up a um, Urban Dictionary video, and then this week, what are we doing? Q and A. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll figure something we'll out. Figure out something, maybe a fan fiction because there's some really good. Ah, oh, some fan fiction. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna just quickly read off some of our patrons here, and by some of, I mean all of them, because they're all important. And seriously, go and check it out. It is a tipping and rewards. And we're gonna website. do the 14-hour marathon. I would. I of Fast and fun. Furious, and we're gonna you now the whole thing live. It's gonna be amazing. So also let us know a day that would maybe work for you guys, and just keep in mind that it's probably gonna be in about two weeks' time. It will be in February, and it'll be after Justin gets back from Cabo. So. Thank you so much to Megan, Megan K, Megan Nicole K eighty three on Instagram. Sarah Moore, her Facebook is linked down below. Thank you so much, Sarah. Melissa, Melly the Kitten on Twitter and Instagram. Alex Maynard, oh uh, nine on Instagram. Cheryl Shannon and Caitlin Fletcher. You guys are amazing. Thanks for your support. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs>